What's going on guys, Menelite here and we're back in the Cosmo Canyon about to undertake the Naki, aka Red 13's trial with Guggenhagen. Shall we begin? Yes we shall. And off we go. Right. Pretty sure what to expect in here, so we'll have to keep our wits about us. Reminds me of the Chamber of Secrets in Harry Potter. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Good. That's the dream team. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Who was Settle? I'm sure his name's Settle. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. Uh -huh. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? A rat would render the trial meaningless. Why? What? But if not him. Ah, you do nicely. Barrett? Ah, oh, at least. Really? <laughs> <laughs> at least pretend not to hate me. Oh, oh, oh. No. You already. Could have been Aerith, could have been Yuffie. Come on, Barrett. You gonna watch my back? Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of death. Place for those who have been healed away. We got this covered. You just wrote yourself up into a nook. Ah. Okay. I did hear that Red would have the ability to climb walls. Oh, it's so disorienting. Here, then get on here. Bit of mess with my eyes up. This place is giving me the creeps. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here, and even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody's ready for you. 
All about the gate. Hey, where'd you run off to? I only got two legs here, you know. You're trying to go through there. Whoa. Oh lie, the camera angle is very trippy in here. But we come that way. Apparently we can climb up here. Looks like there's a chest up there. Don't fight these two big Three big spider things. Alright. That is right. up here oh I only got two legs here you know yeah you keep saying parrot <laughs> what do you want me to do about it sprout two more out here Stop saying that, honestly. You're driving one crazy. Don't make it open if you cut the roar. Right? Just had Barrett shoot it. I only got two legs here, you know. Oh, Barrett, please. <laughs> sure. Honestly, you drive me army.
actually lead anywhere up here, or is it just a wall for the sake of being a wall? Oh, it does. Run all the way back down now. We'll get the chest over here. Hey, where'd you run off to? You can see me. I have to say, I would be hating this part of the game if I didn't actually love the way Red 13 plays. Very like Egyptian Yu-Gi-Oh! Pharaoh sort of aesthetics. Oh, do we have to fight this guy? What the hell is that? Gee. That is a key. It's huge. Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. and hold left trigger near an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to automatically drop. Grab the gi artifact scattered around the cavern and ask Bugenhagen to expect them. Okay. I just wanted them to inspect it. <laughs> that is but a mere bone. Oh. Memories of... Well, if it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. You had it in your mouth. It could have had poison on it. Nay, that is not the relic we seek. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. I haven't slept well of late. Gonna get ambushed. Get rid of that thing. Huh? 
can see why they brought Barra up. Manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us. I'm guessing I have to carry it. pick it up because we don't want well I don't understand why Barry just doesn't bloody hold it put it in his pocket or something Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? Paris. <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Hmm? Huh? Placing the statue on one of the altars. Okay. It's glowing red, so I'm gonna put it here. Oh my days. One more. Here as well. Have a quick heal. You never know when we're going to get attacked.
got two legs here, you know. Really? I never would have guessed Barrett, honestly. You don't see it every time I run off. Oh, hello. Do we have here? That's some materia. She thought that was a statue, I'm not going to lie. But if you come alive, I'm not going to be best pleased. Come alive, but on the way back, won't it? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I know your game square. You get it? See, I told you. <laughs> I just already knew. <laughs> you can't fool me. When you know, you just bloody know. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them in their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Vale, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of that? You are. <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. Is that an anarchy? This doesn't look scary. I don't know what it does. Try. But that 
It's easier said than done. Right. Sorry for you with your ball of whatever it is. You can just fly there. I've got Barrett who's only got two legs, you know. Oh, he likes to keep reminding us. Who are you? Just die, it's up there. I'm loving the atmosphere and the music. Mind if I tag out? Right. Watch your look. Did I do good or did I do good? That's always do good. Does this lead? Well, that was bloody pointless, wasn't it? New weapon for Barrett? Or is it red? Calamitous Bazooka. So how are we supposed to open this thing? How indeed? And here's Lamarkey. A bloody clue. Pull the chin. I have a resource for you to come. I mean, if that didn't lock, we were screwed. He's going to come alive. Hell, Barrett. Oh, we could just drop down that easy. Come on, kid.
going to lift a platform up in the lava maybe. What? This device cannot be secured. I do like Baron smack down, it's so good. Oh, that's amazing. I have just portioned. We'll go the other way first. shells are gonna do much to me.
two legs here, you know. But I borrow. This reminds me of those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. All right. across the that pull the other lever the, the platform across yeah there you go down we go Then we pull it across and it lets us go across the other one, maybe. It's pretty well uh, made, this section of the game, like, a lot more to do than in the actual original, which is cool. And there you go, we're across. Guess and we pull the chain and put it in there. Yeah, see, I'm smart. Fight time. Sounds like a riot. As with good and evil, sorrow too assumes many forms. Forty-five years ago, a watcher fought his way here alone. In his bravery, took upon himself the burden of our home. Well, guys, I think this is going to be a perfect time to end the episode because there's probably going to be a boss fight given the fact that there's a healing bench and stuff. Uh, hope you guys have actually enjoyed this part of the game as much as I have. Probably going to get a big revelation in the next episode, so be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Join me on the next episode of my Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. Bye!